Hello guys. Hey guys. I think it's pretty obvious by the title what this video is about. Very sorry to give this sad news. Bimo passed away on Wednesday. Uh, we were with him. It was like a choice that we made. Uh, as you guys know, he's been struggling with severe IBD for about, I'd say almost three years now. And we actually thought we were gonna lose him like three years ago, because we couldn't find a vet who could help us. Yeah. And we luckily about like two and a half years ago found this amazing vet who studied in the US and she knew a lot about cats. She specializes in only cats. Long story short, she was able to like create like a medicine that BMO takes every day to help like control the inflammation in his IBD. So he like regained his weight and his appetite and he wasn't throwing up every day anymore. And for like uh, two and a half years, he just lived so comfortably even with his condition. Starting from Monday, well, actually, I should say like Sunday, he wasn't uh, finishing his food, and on Monday, um, like it, it happened, you know, a few times that he wouldn't finish the food and he would just kind of stay in the corner. And uh, usually, that's like when he has really uncomfortable stomach. There were a few times we actually took him to the emergency room, but like. You know, most of the time he was just uh, kind of a little bit constipated. On Monday, we thought he was just going through the same thing. I told uh, Sarah, like, by Tuesday morning, if he still doesn't eat any food, then we probably um, have to take him to the vet. And uh, we took him to the vet on Tuesday. He uh, did all the screening, all the tests, blood tests, and... The vet said the sonogram. Yeah, everything, and the vet said that um, well, he was highly dehydrated because he has been eating or drinking enough uh, fluid. So something like quite different was that he just he looked kind of out of it, yeah. like his face and his eyes, and I thought like something's like not right. Like this is not just like a inflammation flare up or like you know constipation. It's like something fell off. Yeah, and Tuesday. he stayed overnight because like his condition was like you know, kind of like severe. The next morning, like Wednesday morning, we got a message from the vet saying that he's um, he had a hard time overnight. Um, we should uh, like consult. Um, so uh, we went in. Um, we saw we saw Bimo and. Uh, we we knew um, after seeing his face that uh, it's time. He was so tired and he just um, looked like he kind of wanted to go. He seemed to recognize it, but he's just a lot more out of it. He couldn't even uh, stand straight. Yeah. The vet said, like, at one point, you know, his one of his pupils was, like, a different size, and he was, like, kind of unstable when walking and had, like, a little twitch, and that's... She said it's likely that his IBD probably turned into, like, lymphoma cancer and maybe, like, started to spread to his brain, so there's, like... You know, there was like nothing else to be done and we didn't just want him to like suffer, so. Yeah, so uh, Sarah and I, we made a decision to uh, put him to sleep. And we spent the uh, last moment together and we were hugging him. Feeding the streets. And then uh, that uh, put him in sleep. First, she actually like sleep. made him sleep. Yeah. And then, you know, a kind of final medication. But he was already so tired, he couldn't even, like, sit up. So 
So like, I'm really grateful to that vet because she, we had this conversation a long time ago. Like when he reached that point, like we don't just want to take him home and let him like suffer. We were together um, this last moment and we decided to uh, cremate him and make him into a stone. That day we took him to the place where they do the cremation and they were really nice and respectful. It was really hard. But the little stones that they make out of like his ashes will last forever. So we decided to do that. And they're even like a similar colors, you know. So. It was really difficult day. Um, it's been difficult. It's uh, it's been very difficult uh, to to go through all that, and after that, coming home, it's just uh, it's it feels so empty. We adopted Bimo about eight years ago. He was almost ten years old. We because like of you know our work, like we work from home, so like we were together a lot. We were like with each other all the time, and he was just like used to that company, and we were used to his. So it's uh, yeah, it's really hard, but I'm really grateful that we got to spend like that, you know, extra three years with him when we thought like he was gonna die like three years ago, and we couldn't find help for his condition. But it's really hard for us to. St- stay at home because we shared so many good memories with him um especially the hardest times is morning and night time yeah our routines because he usually like cuddles i'm just um glad that uh it didn't happen while we were in canada yeah yeah uh, he was so stable like just it, it was like really out of nowhere it was like a f- switch there's like, cause whenever we go to Canada, you know, we had just gotten his full kind of screening where it's like thorough blood test and checking all like the, you know, his organs and his like thorough sonogram to see if the inflammation and like he was fine. But like, obviously we didn't know, like it was already spread to his brain and that symptom started to show like a week later. So I'm just glad that we have uh, at least some part of him with us that can last forever. Yeah, um, sorry guys, it will take a while for us to recover from this. So um, we don't know if we're going to upload the video next week or not. We might need a bit of a break. Yeah, so even if we don't upload anything, please understand. We weren't actually going to make any videos, but I think we... We owed it to you guys to yeah. like explain like what's going on. and Because like, you know, he's been in our channel since like the beginning, so... I'm sorry to, again, like give you this like sad news because she was just okay at last week's video. But that's kind of what I'm grateful for, though. It wasn't some like... <sighs> slow and miserable decline. Like he... Yeah. I don't think like he suffered much and we uh, yeah I think we uh, made a right decision we yeah. don't want him to suffer no. thank you for loving our cat what's actually been like the most helpful is um, getting out for small walks and like looking after the stray cats because yeah. you know they're, it's almost like they can sense something's off I feel like they're more like they seem like more affectionate than usual but it's just you know we try to put our energy into like caring for them and making sure that they're like hydrated in this kind of weather and getting good food and what they need so <sighs> sorry guys if this was like kind of all over the place with like the different you when know, what we were talking about with the different vet visits we haven't like you know we're out of it we haven't really been sleeping well especially QO and it just uh yeah, it's been a lot to deal with the last few days, but um, we might need a little time off. We just kind of need to step back and kind of take care of ourselves a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, thank you for loving our, our cat, Bimo.
You wear it. Ooh, so smart. Hi.